conference. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer is live there in Duluth. So Bridget, how much money was taken? Yeah, we're talking about a lot of money here, guys. Close to $60,000 worth of fake checks were cashed. And they are at this point left recovering, and they're also wondering why a nonprofit like theirs would even be targeted in the first place. Small, fragile, and sweet. These two kittens were brought into Planned Pethood in Duluth early Wednesday after experiencing something horrible. A citizen driving through Duluth last night saw another car in front of her throw out two kittens from their car window. If it weren't for the Good Samaritan stopping to pick them up, they could have died. Police even got involved. The kittens are neonates, meaning they depend on their mom. So staff has stepped up to save their lives. She said that she just saw them toss them. They definitely would have died out there. Heroic acts like these are just one of the things Planned Pethood does each and every day. They provide free and low cost services like spay and neuter surgeries. They also help with rescue animals and they recently became the target of a fake check scheme. Someone stole a check out of the mail, created fake check stock, and they were able to cash 10 checks, totaling almost $60,000. Their bank refunded the money, but they're still having to pay several fees and spend countless hours regrouping. The big hassle for us is now closing the account, opening a new account, contacting all our vendors, unlinking all of the debit and credit activity that's linked to that account. So we'll spend several hours that could be put to better use helping animals. Staff now hoping the crooks are caught so they cannot do this to anyone else. Of all the places to try to take advantage of is a place that helps animals and gives so much back to the community and um, the community cats. It's just a devastating thing that this would be a targeted place. For and the nonprofit will be holding some fundraisers in the coming days and months. They're really at this point just trying to recoup and regroup. And one way you can prevent this is to go ahead and drop those checks off directly to the post office instead of placing them in the mail. We're live in Duluth. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. And in the